Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at EBA Day 2019 in Stockholm. Kindly joining me now in the TV studio is Dan Britannia from Trace Financial and we're talking about standards convergence and messaging divergence. Hello Dan, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for speaking with me. No problem at all. So the first thing I want to speak to you about is the trends we're seeing in the financial messaging industry. So could you highlight what some of those are first? Certainly, yeah. Um, yeah, so really there are a few key trends. One is the amount of data. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing things like open banking, open APIs in general, that's increasing the data flows. You're seeing uh, solution providers uh, onboarding new clients and you're also seeing uh, regulatory reporting requirements ever increasing. And in some ways, that data that the customers are dealing with <clears throat> is becoming much more standard. So you've got national payment platforms around the world standardizing and various other harmonization projects. On the flip side of that though, you've also got the, want, the, the wanting to offer a, a frictionless onboarding experience. And this is where a solution provider will say, <clears throat> you give me the data in a format you understand, I will then take it and I will convert it to allow it to be on my platform. And that's very different to what happened you know, a few years ago. So our customers are finding they've got lots of different types of data and lots, lots of data in itself. And without a transformer, some of our customers are really struggling to bring their on client onboarding and so on. They just found they couldn't keep up with demand. With Transformer though, it becomes much more painless because they're able to build graphical, graphically build rules, drag and drop in the interface, test it on their desktop, and then embed into their own systems. All right, well, following on from that quite nicely, we're seeing a number of data harmonization initiatives across uh, the globe, but of course, with this comes some challenges and unanswered questions. Can you tell us what some of those are? Yes, yeah, certainly. The, I think the key challenges really are that <laughs> Often it's time. The 2021 deadline, for example, with Swift's MT2 ISO migration, a number of years away. But we may think we've got plenty of time for that. Actually, time will pass very, very quickly. And the impact on systems is going to be huge. I was reading a recent Finextra uh, article with uh, Deutsche Bank recently where they said it would be a mistake to treat this uh, as a, just another IT project purely because of the number of systems impacted. So you've got large organizations who are gonna have huge number of systems to worry about. They're gonna have a large number of stakeholders to please. <clears throat> Smaller organizations, I think, are gonna struggle with delivering changes to their systems because they're not gonna have the time, the budget, or the expertise to understand how to adapt their systems. And obviously, Transformer can really help here because, again, it takes away the pain of ensuring your data is in the right format. So whether you're looking for a strategic rewrite of systems or a tactical bridging interface to keep you going for the meantime, <clears throat> then I think uh, by building those rules in Transformer, embedding into your own uh, existing systems, you can deliver projects much more quickly. So I think currently though, what's unanswered with the uh, sort of ISO 2002 to migration approaches for all the different systems is how to marry that with open banking. Open banking, modern APIs. By that we mean RESTful web services and that means JSON data structures. And at the moment you've got the richness of this data model of ISO 20022 and then you've got the ease of access for JSON structures. But there's no real uh, match of richness to simplicity. And the ISO 20022 working group have produced guidelines but I think actually that's going to end up, they are just guidelines. So you've got these ISO 20022 like structures, but ISO 2002 like is not ISO 20022. So you're going to end up with lots of variations of uh, data. And again, Transformer can help here because it's uh, JSON interoperability really simplifies that representation of data in a JSON format. Some interesting developments ahead then as well, um, but what can industry players do to prepare for these data harmonization deadlines? Sure, well, it always amazes me at these kind of events where the number of people I speak to who are only just realizing the impact it's gonna have on their systems. So I think communication is key. <clears throat> and that's communication within the industry, or within the organizations themselves, but also communication from the infrastructure um, providers as well. Once people do know 
what they uh, what the initiative is, then I think they really the individual organisations need to be honest about their ability to deliver an update to their solutions in time for the uh, deadlines. If they're uh, unable to take that strategic approach, then I think a more tactical solution, there's no problem with that in the short term. And again, whether it's tactical or strategic, Transformer can really help get them over the finishing line much more quickly. Sure, well Dan, that's a good outlook for the future there and some good advice as well. Um, thank you very much for your insights, I'll let you get back out there. Thank you. Thanks very much.